good day everyone and welcome to episode one of Project Youth with Tramir Rovers. It's a brand new series and I'm raring to get started. As you can see we have the one the only Nicholas King is our manager for this series and I've tried to recreate his likeness as best I can. So if you don't know what Project Youth is about let me give you a quick rundown. This will be a career mode road to glory save where the aim is to rebuild a team using only youth academy and game generated players whether they be regens or, as I've heard is in the game now, proper new gens. And one of the big things about this year's game is that we start with a roster of youth players. So why don't we have a look at them? Just a small group of three then. We have Lazar Ladic from Croatia. He's a 56 overall, potential of 61 to 83. Branimir Bogdanovic, also from Croatia. He is 53 overall, potential of 56 to 76. And Pablo Montero from Spain. He's 54 overall, potential of 65 to 89. And before we hop into development plans for the Youth Academy players, let me give you a quick rundown of what I want to be running for this series. It's a 4-2-3-1 with the wingers pushed up slightly from their starting positions that the formation gives. I will sort out tactics, roles and instructions later on down the line once we get a better feel for our youth team. So as we start looking at development plans for our youth players then, Lazar Ladic can play uh, left mid but he can also play that cam role. So I feel this would be a fantastic opportunity to dive into the position change system and make Lazar Ladic our attacking midfielder. As you can see over there, it says it's going to take four weeks to complete the role change. That's because he is already familiar with the role somewhat. As for Branimir Bogdanovic, I'm just going to put him on the central midfield growth path. Get those passing abilities up, increase the dribbling a little because he's already good at that and also go ahead and increase some of those physicals. And as for Pablo Montero, we are going to put him on the playmaker growth path. And that is not all we're doing with the Youth Academy. As you might know, part of FIFA 21 is that you start with a Youth Academy scout. I have also hired two extra ones and we are going to send them off. So as we look to Bobby Kelly, we're going to figure out where he is going to go first. Now I feel a bit more realistic if we stick to the Northern Europe scouting range for now. And this section is going to see the return of the dice. I'm going to roll it and that will determine where we go first. So that dice roll has landed on four. And if we go off the list on the select region screen, that is going to be Finland. And we'll send them away for three months looking for some wingers. As for Oscar Moody, our dice roll determines that he will be going to Scotland. And in Scotland, he will be looking for some defensive minded players. And finally, Bledar Metarapi, who dice rolls aside, we will be sending to England to search for any kind of player. And before we continue, we have that all important training day to do. Now I'm going to spend some time real quick to go through all of the training sessions that we have lined up and get A's in them, which I believe means we can sim them in the future and be guaranteed those A ratings. Our first match of the preseason then is going to be against Udinese. Is that how you sprouts that? No idea. There's full time. It ends in a loss. Trambi Rovers 1, Udinese 3. And you know, that was a massive lie what I said before. There are some tactics things I want to put in place. And that is our possession style of football I want to be playing. Moving on, next match of preseason is against Benevento. And it ends in a 2-1 victory for Tranmere Rovers. And our third match of the preseason against is against St. Johnston. And that one is going to end in a 3-1 victory for Tranmere Rovers. It's a semi-final of the preseason tournament. Let's see how we do. And I'm not quite sure what happened there. I simmed the match and it just took me straight out. Maybe I accidentally double pressed A, but it seems like we lost that match.
I can't believe I've only just remembered to do this, but we should probably look at some of those free agents, eh? So of all the free agents that probably weren't snapped up already, we have Oscar Calderon from Bolivia. Left back, left wing back, and left mid. Kasper Veerinen from Finland, a CDM and central midfield. And Chi Wang from China, left wing, right wing, and striker. And we are just going to go ahead and bring them in. Let's look at these players we've just signed then. Oscar Calderon, left back, 52 overall. We are going to put him on the wide back development plan. Next is Kasper Veerinen from Finland, CDM, CM. Only a 50 overall. We're going to put him on the ball willing midfielder development plan. And the last of the players we just signed, Chi Wang, left wing, right wing and striker, 47 overall. We're going to put him on the wide winger development plan, increase those already decent dribbling skills, his pace and try and improve his passing abilities somewhat. Now let's go ahead and sim to the 1st of August when we can see our youth intake as well as play our first league match. Here we go then, our first monthly scouting updates to look at. Let's have a look. So from England, we seem to have a goalkeeper, Harry Robinson, over the 41 to 57, potential of 67 to 93. He is only 15, but we'll bring him in because he seems like he's got decent potential. And Nathan Gale. No idea where he plays. He's also 15. Overall of 34 to 46. Potential of 50 to 70. I'm afraid not good enough for me for my liking. Oscar Moody from Scotland has bought back 17-year-old Lucas McKay. Overall of 41 to 57. Potential of 56 to 78. Potentially be decent for us. And he's of the right age. And Duncan Aitchison. 16 years old. Overall of 37 to 51. Potential of 59 to 81. Sure, we'll bring you in as well. And finally, from Finland, only one. It's Lika Pavola. 17 years old. Overall of 49 to 67. Potential of 63 to 85. We'll bring him in. Well, here they are then, Lucas McKay, right back, overall of 52, and we'll promote him to the senior team. It seems I didn't quite understand the development plan. It's not a case of having a position and a growth plan. You can only have one or the other. So Lazar Ladic wasn't actually on his position training of attacking midfielder. But now he is, and we are going to bring him into the senior team. And as with Branimir Bogdanovic, we will also bring him into the senior team. The exciting looking Pablo Montero will also be coming into the senior team. And now I've had a chance to look at his name properly, I realized his name isn't Licker and it's Ica. Ica Pavola will also be coming into the senior team. Duncan Aitchison as well. He's not fantastic, but we've got him on a development plan. We'll bring him into the team and see how he does. And with that, it's finally time to get into the first game of the series. It's League 2 with Tranmere Rovers, and we're playing at home against Forest Green Rovers. He's not. Adams to Richardson, and it's a great block by McKay. He's going to be bit hard. There's an interesting clearance there and sadly Collins is going to get through and get the first goal of the match and it's going Forest Green Rovers way. Our defense is a little bit messy right now and Mikulski's got through and that's a second for Forest Green. Bogdanovic can put in a good ball through for Feeney and that's an even better ball through to find Pavola who shoots and McGee. It's another corner for Tranmere then. Here it comes in. And it found the head of Feeney. And that's a foul in the box. It's going to be a penalty for Tranmere. And we're going to give this to Aitchison, the striker. What can he do with it? We'll soon find out. And it's actually going to find the back of the net. Aitchison gets his first goal for Tranmere Rovers. Pavola. Finds Wang, shoots, and it's well saved by McGee. And it's a good through ball. And March is going to find a third for Forest Green. Oh, it's a good through ball. Cal Aaron's got to chase down Wagstaff now. Oh my goodness. Forest Green have another, and so does March. 
It's a bit unlucky if you ask me. And that's going to be the full-time whistle. Our first match of this season ends in a defeat. It's Tranmere 1, Forest Green Rovers 4. Well, I think we've got just about enough time for another match. And this one, we are playing away to Colchester United. And it's a great tackle from Clark. Bogdanovic, Pavola, Hson is making a run forward. He's well on side, takes that shot. And Gherkin saves. I forgot their keeper's name is Gherkin. It's a good ball through. And it's just gone wide, but a tackle by Month. And that's a penalty to Colchester. And we go to the right. Oh, and he just got a hand to it. But it has found its way through. Colchester United take the lead. They're doing very well. I think we are as well. Oh, and another penalty conceded by Month. And if that isn't ascending off now, I'll be very surprised. No, just a talking to by the ref. Well, Davies has another chance to make a penalty save. And yes, save he does. Oh, and Norris is through. And Norris shoots and gets a second for Colchester. It's a long ball over the top now. Colchester in a very dangerous position. It's three on none. And it's another goal as Brown converts that chance. It's 3-0 going into halftime. My goodness. Oh, it's a great ball through. And Norris has another. It's four for Colchester. Find Feeney. Back to Bog. Back to Bog. Am I, am I saying this now? <laughs> Back to Bog. We're going to just call him Bog. Oh, it's a great ball through to find Pavola. What a shot that was. Pavola gets a goal for Tranmere Rovers. Can we turn this around or is that just going to be a consolation goal? Oh, finds a run of Bogdanovic. Bogdanovic comes forwards, shoots. And it's a good save by Gherkin. Good ball over the top. Finds Senior. Senior's through. Lewis gets forward to try and get on it. Or Davies, sorry. And that's a fifth for Colchester. Senior now making a run down the center. Finds Hutchinson. Hutchinson shoots. And he scores. It's a sixth for Colchester. That's going to find Pavola. Shoots and he scores. Well in, buddy. Okay, we're not allowed to pick up the ball still. Good to know. And that's going to be full time. We sadly end in a defeat. Colchester United 6, Tramir Rovers 2. Resort aside, I was fairly impressed with some of those players. Pavola and Aitchison. Aitchison was okay. Uh, his overall reflects his ability. He will get better. I've got a good feeling about Duncan Aitchison. Ika Pavola was... I mean, he scored both of our goals today. He was pretty damn good. Montero also, yeah, with the third highest rating in that match. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. And I'll give some credit to Bogdanovic as well. Impressed. Our first original player on the way out the door then, Corey Blackett-Taylor, has been sold for £1.15 million, pounds, which we get 800000 of. Thank you very much. Despite the results, I think we can take some positives from those performances. Our youth players are looking very, very promising. And I can't wait to see who else we bring into the club and how far we can take them. Hopefully, all the way to the top. But I'm afraid that is all we have time for today. Thank you so much for joining me for this first episode. If you've enjoyed it, please don't forget to give the video a like and subscribe for more Project Youth and other content from myself. Thank you all so much again. And please, don't forget to love each other. Cheers, guys. Cheers.